Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. So this workout of my presses is right after the terrible, painful back squats that I had done. Uh, basically, I do squats and press, deadlift and bench press. And uh, look at me, I'm so pissed off. I just could not wait for my session to get over, but I had committed to do my press, my overhead press. I love them. And I'm sharing my journey with you to get back to doing 100 kg press. By all means, every single voice in my mind, in my heart, <laughs> was just telling me to stop. Stop doing this lifting and go home. But um, I just kept going. My pain on my lower back, uh, was a lot lesser uh, doing the presses, so I could not have any uh, excuses not to do overhead press, press. Sorry. So, but I was figuring out why, uh, why, and how it'll affect my presses. I'm pressing the bar up using my shoulders and my elbows. So why? Does this is a seventy kg set of five? And uh, as I was thinking, I sort of got my answer. A low back, the anatomy is very important when you are transferring the force. Back, the entire portion of the back acts as a stabilizer. And if you're in pain, which I was, you're not going to be as stable. And the power transfer will not happen. There will be some loss of power. But anyways, it was good to know that that is something I need to keep in my mind. I was uh, resilient to just keep trying. I think I've failed attempting to press 90 kg three times. <laughs> and I don't know what came to me to try to press 90 kgs. And uh, I will not keep you guessing. I absolutely miserably failed it. But by this time, at least, uh, I had done a set of five of 70 kg. And look at, I'm just so not interested in anything at all really there was this class going on and pain was still lingering from my uh, lower back slash sacroiliac SI joint but I, I I wanted to just soldier on and I must say the pain wasn't as bad the the pissed off version of me was still hanging around I think I need to uh, be more mature and learn it from this session that you know, squat was hurting, but not the press. And I don't need to be depressed. <laughs> so um, I sort of soldiered on and I think the pain was lesser. The pain was definitely lesser. And uh, after this is a set of five. So that's pretty good. Two sets of five at 70. And uh, really looking back, I should have just do, did one more set of five at 70. Maybe a single with 80 and go home. But now I had to go on and try bloody... 90 kg press which is pretty much 100 percent one rm type weight and there was a lot of movement around the trainers was going were going around music was on loud uh, very vibrant environment but i'm actually a person who likes to just be on my own in the gym and this gym allows me to do that it's not a very busy gym and i go there in the nights after i finish my work nowadays which is amazing so yes, so that's that's one good thing about eighty kg coming up, belt on this time. Uh, I hope um, yes, I think I get double, single double, and uh, this is where I should have just called it. That's pretty slow after the mid. Yeah, I think I decided okay, I'll do a single at eighty, which I did, and then one at ninety. But my body language, I'm learning so much more when I'm watching my video uh, retrospectively while I'm auditing it. I'm As I'm watching it, I can just tell. Videos do make a lot of difference in analyzing your performance and also your state of mind through your body language. After pressing it, I was just like a sooky little puppy. <laughs> so I think it's not a very good not to have, it's not very good to, to miss that vibrant energy and be pissed off. It's just not a good state of mind at all. It just doesn't work. It doesn't translate into anything good. So here is my 90 kg massive 
epic fail, guys. Let's do it. Getting nice and tight. Cues in the head. Wah, 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 wah. Amongst all lifts, overhead press is a lift where there's no grind. It happens or it doesn't. I can rescue a deadlift. I've done it many times. A squat many times. It could be very slow and take forever. Same with bench press. Bench press is 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 very good lift to do a grind because you have a bench to press against but overhead press you're standing there tall and there's nothing to lean back and there's nowhere to hide anyway i hope that session video this that you watched you liked it and learned something from it i will leave a link at the top for my squat session which i did before the presses and how terrible the whole thing was and uh, Sorry about the shake and all that in the video. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.